Hey everyone and welcome back to Wolfie's Luck. We are bringing you our awards early today on a Thursday. We're going to have marking matchups later to complete. So our coin total did take a little hit, um, only a bit. And I managed to get most of that from like when Icon Swaps came out. So doing the um, silvers with Argentina, buying them up late at night, selling them early the next day, uh, building them up that way. So I bought a 50k pack, didn't get anything for it. Um, we changed our team around a lot. So this is our team going forward. So we've got the Ashley Cole now, which is really nice. Uh, there we go. Yeah, from Icon Swaps. We've got Willian as well. And we got rid of Ronaldo because I just thought I could put anyone there. And I just fancy playing someone different because Atal was going to be my striker. Fantastic. And I completed the Renato Sanchez SBC, as I discussed last time. So what our team will look like when we go into the game... Atta will go up front, Nedved there, then we've got Aki Williams and Mbappe out wide, Renato Sanchez and Makaleli as my two CDMs. The reason why I got rid of Ronaldo was purely that Atta was fantastic. And Nedved is better as a cam than he is out wide, so didn't see the point of having that player. I can always bring him back if I want. Don't have the coins right now if I wanted to bring him back, but it won't take long. So we're going to open up our rewards here. Uh, let's have a quick look at the team of the week. I don't think it's anything special, so uh, no. Just looking from the top players there, so, you know, like Fabinho, Lingard would be nice. Um, anything just for rating, uh, Insigne would be a really nice card, just a super sub. Most likely this is what we're going to be packing onto the bench, but was quite close to completing like a upgrade for the champs pack, but... I have used all of those players just to complete, like, Fernando uh, Renato Sanchez. Like, I put in Shaw there. I put in a couple of 84s in there just because I didn't have the coins. But got some coins now in the bank. Going to get some more packs here. So, one of four. Not really too excited about red picks this week. Never really have. Oh, there we go. An 85. We'll take that. Anyone else that's going to stand out for me? Oh, we could take Lingard, but I don't, he won't even make the team. So, we're just going to take the 86. Just because, at the same time, I think an icon swap, an icon pack is going to drop this weekend. And that's why rivals, I'm kind of in two minds. Do I take tradables or untradables? I'm going to take untradables because my team is so low on players right now. And I just need to build up the fodder. Um, I could pack someone good and then literally it's just high rated and they're just not going to be used. But I doubt that very much. No walkout. These rare gold packs are never very good for me. I don't think... Oh, Mexico though. Uh, Hernandez, yeah. So an 84 there. I'll take an 84. It's definitely worth some coins if I want to sell them. So like, yeah, 8k worth of coins there. So not bad for that, considering. Okay, two rare mega packs now. I just need something incredible. I want to actually pack a foot birthday that's tradable. Come on. No walk out there. So team of the week, though. Ooh, who's that? Nothing special at all there, really. Just a team of the group. Team of the week. Yeah, there you go. See, this is how bad my fodder is. Like, no player will actually be a dupe. Right. So, last pack that's going to be a tradable pack. Come on. Please. 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 Come on. Give me something for the road to glory. Please. Yes! Come on! What is that? What is that? Belgium. Cam, is that Kevin De Bruyne? Hell yes, Kevin De Bruyne. I will take that. KDB. I don't even know how much he's worth. Probably not that much. And uh, Nangola in there. So, yeah, 80k. I'll take an 80k 91 rated player. That is fantastic. Anything else at the back here? No. So, that's pretty good, though. A 91. 91. So, now we're going to move over to my rival awards. I've been playing a lot of squad battles as well. We're at 40,000 already, which is a great start. I mean, rivals, got to get a few games in now. Uh, just to make sure that I can get that rank one reward there. There we go. Untradeable. Two mega packs, two ultimate packs. Can rank one actually pay out for me? Last week, it didn't pay out at all. So I'm just hoping that this week will. Mega packs is where I packed my icons from. So I packed two icons on this if you ever watched it as well. So can't start off with a walkout high rated though Belgium left mid arts oh, thingy from Dortmund 84 mm, I'll take it it's fodder see look at this 
non-reds. I think I have now four non-reds in my club. That's how bad this account has got. Uh, Get rid of all of that. Right, next mega pack. Come on, come on. I've had one fantastic walkout. Not even unrated. Now I just want something else. Come on. No. Oh. Sudamericana or whatever league it is. 80 rated. Not going to be great. Oh, there you go. More fodder. But I doubt they're going to be doing player picks anytime soon. So. So, well, actually, I've had two players that have been actually dupes, but tradable dupes, which is actually surprising. Right, the two big packs here, two ultimate packs. Come on, we'll just mix up a little bit. The promo packs. So, 100k, actually, the show probability on that is 3.6. So, probably around 4% chance of actually getting a foot birthday card in here. Come on, come on. No. It's a team of the week, though. For a 79 rated from a ultimate pack. That's just somehow does prove 283s, 82s. Just some it just proves sometimes how bad these ultimate packs can be. That is absolutely terrible. I suppose two dupes, that's not too bad though. Okay, last one. Come on, I need a walkout. Give me a walkout. Give me something that's going to really change my team this weekend. Yes, we got a walkout. Oh, we got for birthday though. Come on. Come on. Be something. French. Sentiment, who the hell's that? Ariola. I will take it. I will take that. What a card. Oh, I suppose I could actually sell Willy Ann and actually put Ariola in the team now. Wow. I don't know what to say to that. Now you're like, I bet I wish took tradable. That would have been sick. And an Isco, and a Coman, and a Bale. How much does he sell for? Yeah, 90k. 900. So, yeah, that would have been... Ridiculous if I had that as tradable, but I probably would probably would have been the first pack that I got as the tradable one, not that one. Wow, what a way to end this video. Wait. No, we're not selling all of that. We are not selling all of that. No way. I don't know how to move it back, but this is the most curious way that I know that I can do it. Uh, but guys, um, <laughs> that's amazing for me. Um, Thanks. All right, let's just make sure that we've got it. Okay. So, yeah, it's all in reverse now. I'll access all that later. So, we can have a quick look now. Like, so, for the team, Ariana can just fit in there. Anyone can fit in there. So, I mean, I've done his 86 SBC, but this card. So, like, if we just go over and compare against William. William's a little bit faster, but Ariel's right, shooting's better, his passing's better, his dribbling's better, defending's better, physical, not so much, but he's playing as a cam outside. He's got a four star skills, five star weak foot, medium high work rates. Acceleration, sprint speed, obviously, we put like a hunter on him. His shooting will go top notch then. Stamina, not too bad. But more importantly, as well, if we were to sell, we bought. So, he's going for around. 300, over 300k now, so we bought it for 294 as well. So that's something to consider as well. Probably most likely will sell him, and then um, here fit in there quite nicely. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you have enjoyed it, and that's a fantastic pull there. Please do leave a like below as well, and sub to the channel as well. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye now.